Right, okay. Hello. I this isn't what I normally do on this channel. I'm going to do gaming. But as you see as you have probably seen by this title, the I've I've bought a drawing tablet because I like art. I'm basically gonna review it. Uh see how it is. I'm gonna live right back here with my laptop. I'll open it up, show you everything. This is a couple of days before it hasn't arrived yet. For me, it'll be a couple of days for you. Well, it'll be about a second. I didn't expect the box to be this big, but it is. Let me just get my scissors. I can pull this up. Uh, keep having to bring it down. Right. I'll I'll leave that box till after we've actually got the screen out. I did not expect it to be this big. Oh. Put that there. Get that out of the way. Right. Holy cow. When they said 22 inches, I didn't really expect it to be this big. That's what the 22 stands for. Holy cow. Whoo. Oh my gosh. You can also get the 16 inch, um, this is really big, um, <coughs> this definitely won't power the lap, uh, you be able to use the laptop we thought it, well I thought it would, here, this is the laptop, uh, it's a very old one, it's a MacBook Pro, this is my laptop, because uh, I don't really need a good one, but this is the laptop we're going to be using. This is the newer MacBook Pro, which it will run on. Um, let's just move this over here. So, here's all the accessories. Ta-da. Um, here is the pen. You can change the nib on the pen as well. It's got two buttons right there. That button on the end. Rubber on the end of that. Two buttons, probably to switch to an eraser um, and switch back to a pen and also a backspace, which would be quite good. We've got the cables here, so we've got HDMI, um, American power, no wait, yeah, American power thingy, majingy, um, English power thingy, majingy, um, that's USB. Um, so yeah, uh, here we have, oh right, it's a power block, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I thought it must be, it was a bit weird, anyway, <coughs> put those back in there, and here is what you put on the side, it holds your pen, but on the back, it, it, it pulls out your nib, and then you've got some spare nibs right here, which you can put in, um, for the pen because friction and it wears down the tip here with the screen on the front it's just a big nice screen with a, some edges whack them pull up around to the back up here we have all the uh, hdmi and power and stuff on button over here so in there is hdmi power and usb yeah you can take this stand off you just have to unscrew these and take it off uh, this little lever here makes it so you can stand it up uh, higher or lower you know whatever on the sides there's this thing here for the pen holder and the nib switch or whatever got some fans on the top so here we go, here we've got the adapter. We've plugged everything in, well, except from it into the laptop, because we need this adapter. Um, 
Yes, that is the adapter. Has got HDMI, has got USB. Yeah, USB. Oh, so if we come over here to the laptop, right top, uh, let's plug it in this side. Um, so if I plug this into here, then now this is in, we can plug that in there and grab this HDMI and put that in there. Now, I have no idea what's gonna happen. The screen is actually off. I, I've never done this before, so I have no idea what's gonna happen right now. Well, we've turned it on, but it just came up with, yep, whack him. Can we just, oh, oh, hold the phone, hold the phone. So this is the desktop. Here, I've just started drawing something. Um, so if you flip the pen round, it acts as a rubber. Um, but you don't need to change it on Photoshop. You don't need to change it to a rubber or anything, which I found out. Uh, you just uh, uh, you just swap it over and it rubs it out. But if you hover up over, it moves the mouse, and then you've got to actually touch it to draw. Oh wait, that's on rubber. Uh, so you've got to actually, you know, touch it to draw, whatever. That's my little character that I like to draw a lot. Um, so, uh, you just swap it over if you want to rub anything out. Um, if you hover over, the if you, if you do buy one, the keys that are set already, which I might switch, if you hover over in Photoshop and you press the bottom one, it comes up so you can swap the size and stuff. Um, and the other one, if you press the other one, it comes up with an express menu. So you've got settings, undo, redo, toggle keyboard, uh, display toggle, Wacom tablet preferences, Wacom desktop center and Wacom display settings. Um, and you can just go over the either X, I'm pretty sure there's like two. Um, uh, but this acts like a normal monitor so you can go over to YouTube and stuff which I have open down here actually so if you go down Google uh, you know YouTube uh, and you've got your YouTube and everything um, so yes it, it just acts like a normal uh, screen basically because it is a second screen it doesn't do anything if you touch it with your fingers so you can't zoom in and out it runs quite smoothly, like there isn't a delay really. There's a couple differences between the 22 and the 16. Um, if you are considering buying the 16 or 22. So firstly, the 22 has a back, a, a back plate that it uh, goes up and down on. And the 16 only has foot flaps like that you can flap out I'm pretty sure and the 16 has the uh, off button or on and off button on the front and the 22 has it on the back the 16 has all the wires like in one so they all they it's one wire that splits in three um, it's obviously smaller those are all the differences and that's about it for this video I'm pretty sure there's nothing else um, I want to say it, it's it's really good but you can if you have a laptop and you're using it with a laptop you can close the laptop as we've got over here it's closed um, and it runs as your first screen but if you open it that'll go it, it'll go black and then it'll start up and then and it's actually put the uh, Photoshop over on that one, so I don't want to. Um, when you do start it up for the first time, we had to change the brightness levels because it was actually quite dark. But when you've started it all up and it's all ready, it comes up with a little thing saying like start and stuff. Uh, so you've just got to follow the instructions on there. It doesn't actually come with a glove, but I just got this one off Amazon, just a cheap like eight pound one. It's it. It is actually quite worth it because I know this doesn't actually uh, like a um, attract your hand kind of thing, so it doesn't uh, draw when you've got your hand on it. But it runs a lot smoother when you've when you've got it on. It it is actually quite small. I don't know if it'll fit in that though. 
but it just runs a bit smoother and also it doesn't make finger marks and over here on this when you just pull it out you can put it on either side but it, when you pull it out you can put that in there and it takes it out and then you've got some more nibs here that you can push out um, and replace it with uh, that's ever if it like wears down too much it's quite it's quite good I like it a lot um, yeah that's about it leave a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video goodbye